With fighting, MMA, and you know, self-defense, chokes are on the high end of our priority list as far as submissions go. All of your effort is going, all of your strength is going on choking the neck, okay? No matter how big they are, how strong they are, um, you know, if all of your, your strength is going around the neck of the person, it's very hard for them to deal with that. And they're also adrenaline-proof chokes are. I've seen guys get their arm broke in a fight, pull the arm out, and then knock the guy out with the same arm that got broke, okay? Because the adrenaline's going, they can deal with the pain. And keep in mind, every time you have a chance of getting around the head, okay, they're, it's gonna be very difficult for them to punch you. So this grip that we're gonna use on this choke uh, is a, a reverse gable grip, okay? And anybody that's wrestled, you know a, a standard gable grip, you know, thumbs along the sides of your fingers, okay? The reason why we don't hook here is because then it's a handle that can break it off, okay? We don't want them to grab our thumbs. Okay, here, we're just doing another turn around and grabbing, and here is my reverse gable grip, okay? It's like links in a chain. Now, it's very powerful. Now, I'm not just using my grip, my grip here, okay, and blowing my arms out with a pull. Now, I can use my whole body and crunch, and this stays really tight, like a cinch knot. So, Arnold, he's achieved an underhook on me here, okay? So, he's essentially giving me an arm in guillotine if I choose to take it. So, I'm gonna swim my arm around, and I'm gonna point my thumb down and my palm towards him as, as well as possible. It's, I mean, you're gonna have some flexibility issues, so even if you just get to here, my other hand will go ahead and rotate it through all the way. So now I'll have my arm on the bottom side of his neck choking. Now I gotta get my, my lab, my rib cage on this side to choke, okay? Because this is a blood choke on the carotid arteries. Okay, that's what makes him go to sleep. This isn't a trachea choke, this is on the carotids, okay? I'll get my reverse cable. Now I have to, you know, create space at first and then switch my, my body into position on that neck, okay? And I can start squeezing, okay? So I'm just dropping my elbow and lifting up here at the same time to get my choke. If I'm having a hard time here, I'll adjust again. I can even step over for the finish or if he starts coming to knees, boom, I'll control the back, finish from the guard. It's not really a guard since I have control here, okay? But I'm gonna keep the head to the mat for the finish there, okay? Again. Arnold comes up here, control, I'm just gonna reach through as deep as possible, get my reverse gable grip, sit through. Sometimes you get to drop this hip on this leg here, okay, to the mat, and kind of just sit out towards his legs, pushing my hips towards his legs, okay? Here, create pressure, and then get the squeeze, elbow down, lifting up, okay? He rolls through, whoop, controlling, getting the finish there, okay? Let's partner up. I'll walk around and uh, make any adjustments that need, need to be made. We're gonna break on three. One, two, three, three. Let's do it one more time. Let me show you the adjustment. So do I want my... Hey, and everybody, too. This is Dan Anderson, as always, on the fight team. Phenomenal jiu-jitsu guy. One of the best around here. He's gonna come helping. Arnold over here, top student over here. He's gonna be helping. So if they come around and you have questions, go ahead and ask them. And this is Coach Guzzo over here, too. One of our favorite faces on the coaching staff. It's not Nick Lachey making a, a guest appearance. <laughs> so is my hand like this? This one is. This one is thumb down, palm up towards your opponent. Okay. Lock it in. And now, what I want you to do, okay, before you cinch this up really tight, I want you to get this part against his neck. So drop this leg and hip to the mat and scoot this space. Close off this space right here. Right there. And now create pressure. If you have to see it, you can get the tap. And that's the key. This side's always the hard one to get. He's gonna be facing his chest. Yep, thumb down, facing his chest. Like Reach in, and then the other hand comes down below, comes right to the top. I think that's it. Yep, and now rotate your hand palm towards you. Okay, close off this space right here. If you have to, step over him to, you can step this leg over here. Just a plant to be able to get a little bit more pull. Keep his head on the mat, there you go. And with this choke, the key is keeping their head on the mat. <laughs> Everyone feeling it? This takes a few reps and you can find that sweet spot on the neck. Okay, let's go over one more thing. We got five minutes left, because sometimes this happens. Like, especially, like if you go for this choke, say like on off a takedown. 
say, and you end up in like a full guard situation here, but you can still get this reverse gable grip, okay, as like a defense, okay? Very, look like again, very hard for him to punch me in this position, okay? But he's gonna be worried about this control and a lot of guys like tripod up. They bring their legs up in the air to relieve the pressure here. I'm just gonna butterfly one side and I'm gonna elevate and swoop him towards the top. Then I can go ahead and finish the choke from the top position, okay? One more time. Same choke, thumb down, palm away, locking it up, reverse gate rule. I, can, I could hold this for an hour, okay? I'll be looking to sweep or trying to get his head to the mat for the choke, okay? He postures up, boom, I'm just gonna come underneath, sweep him towards the arm side, and then go ahead and try to finish the choke from there. Does that make sense? Let's try that one or two times each, and make sure you're not gonna hit each other in the head, so give you some space, okay? Let's break on three. One, two, three, break. It takes a few reps and you can find that sweet spot on the neck. That way. Everyone feeling it? Let's do it one more time. Let me show you the adjustment. Yep. And here, Four. this space right here is what you want to close off. Create pressure. There you go. Does that make sense? Yeah. Nice. Good job, gang. Thanks, Thanks for joining me. You bet. Oh, thanks, man. Thanks. You bet. Thanks, guys. You bet. See you, buddy. I'll give you another one. Good job, man. Good job, buddy.